Drop anything into a pond, and you can see the ripples moving outward in concentric circles. From this experience, it may be easy to conclude that each wave starts out as a small circle that gradually grows into a larger circle. But that isn't really true. Obviously, the small circles do grow larger. However, the small circle is not a wave. In fact, none of the circles are a wave. Instead, each circle is made up of lots and lots of waves, maybe millions or even billions of waves, all traveling outward at the same time. To see how it works, take a look at this marching band. As a group, they form circles that slowly expand outward. But watch again, only this time, pay attention to the movement of a single individual. What you will notice is that each individual person marches in a straight line. It is only when we see lots of them moving together that we see the circular shape. The ripples in a pond are very much like this marching band. Lots of individual waves begin in the center and move in perfectly straight lines outward. Seen collectively, however, that group of individual waves forms a circular pattern. A pattern composed of a group of waves traveling together is known to physicists as a wave front. The wave fronts in a pond are circular, but wave fronts can take other shapes as well. This demonstration shows linear wave fronts. It's done by vibrating a wooden paddle in a tank of shallow water. Shining a light through the wave fronts makes them easier to see. In this example, the wave fronts are linear, with each line representing a great many individual crests all moving together. These diagrams are attempts to illustrate the phenomena associated with wave behavior. But these diagrams are somewhat difficult to draw and tend to be rather confusing to the eye, so they are often simplified. Notice here that the blue lines represent many crests all lined up. In our previous example, we can see that the expanding circles represent rows of crests that are moving together. When crests are lined up like this, we say that they are in phase. Wavefront diagrams typically show straight or curved lines where lines represent the crests. In the case of longitudinal waves like sound waves, each wavefront is composed of many compressions that are in phase. Here we see a tuning fork. As the prongs of the tuning fork vibrate back and forth, they produce a sound wave, a longitudinal wave that travels outward. Of course, the sound does not only travel in a single direction, but instead, it travels in all directions. This multitude of longitudinal waves, all traveling outward from the tuning fork, is somewhat difficult to draw. More often than not, it's depicted in a simpler way. For stationary diagrams, they have to be drawn even simpler than that. When you see these sorts of diagrams, it's important to remember that each of the blue curves represents an individual wave front, and each wave front represents a great many individual waves all traveling together.